Okay, triathletes, welcome to Augsburg. Today we have a big testing day with me, professional testers, Fritz Grisha from aerofitting.com. Exactly, so today we are going to measure the effect you get when you draft. We are doing three, six and 12 meters at different speeds. And we really wanna find out if your mindset is for cheating how much you gain. So, stay with us and this will be a great day. My name is Fritz Meingast. I'm from Bamberg and I'm one of the founders of aerofitting.com. I was a cyclist for 20 years. Successful cyclist, I ended my career with the German Championship in Team Time Trial 2018 and now I'm uh, trying to do some science and um, improve the athletes together with Grisha. Yeah. And I'm, I'm Grisha Janoschke. I was a former pro cyclist. I rode professional uh, races all over the world for around 10 years. Uh, the biggest race I participate was uh, Paris-Roubaix in uh, 2012. And for me as professional cyclist, it was normal to use the, the slipstream. Yeah? And uh, Tom? My name is Tom. I am. Uh, Elite cyclist and I'm also a shop owner and a bike fitter from Hafenhofen and I'm here to help uh, Roy to do the test, to the drafting test and I'm very excited <laughs> about the <laughs> results and <laughs> he will be riding in front of me and I'll be <laughs> sucking his wheel, you know, to save some, some wattage. But really the issue was for me, I never really trusted 12 meters there is a big distance, you know, and today I want to find out if you are drafting really on the 12 meter rule, will you gain, will you not gain? So this we want to find out today. That's great. Yeah, and let's start. And let's yeah. start it. Yeah. Okay, triathletes, this is going to be the first run. We're going to test 12 meters distance. This is from this orange knob here to the other one. This will be the distance that Tom who has about the same physique as I have, will be riding 12 meters ahead of me and I will be following him and we will try to, to measure the difference in wattage that I will save because he's riding in front. Of course, if he was a small woman, it would be a, diff a, a less difference that I will gain or he, if he would be a really big guy, it would be a bigger difference. But at this day, we just want to compare same physique, 12 meters in distance. Now I did my baseline. Baseline is to determine how much wattage I need for a certain speed. And Fritz will explain what's behind baseline. How, for me, complicated this is to really bring out some numbers that I can trust you. So how did you end up? Okay, Roy. Here we have your baseline run. The green line is your speed. And as you can see, your speed is increasing in the curves. It's a very, very um, important point. We have to correct it. And this is a point with which the software um, does manage it. And um, the purple line, you have your wattage. And you see there is, of course, some stochastic um, up and down. And we will clean it. We will uh, take an average. And so we can determine your baseline CDA. Okay. And what, what's this piece standing there? 60.3 moisturizing? This is the humidity. Humidity. The relative uh, humidity. You have the temperature, you have the dewing point, and so you, have it, you need to calculate the density of the air. And you put this into your system? Yes. Okay. yes. The system calculates how high or low the density of the air is. And before you said something about the chain friction, you also take into your account the chain? I never heard about that. Yes, we developed a special formula um, based on the data of ceramic speed. They found out that the uh, um, efficiency of the drivetrain is changing. Uh, it depends on how much power you are giving to the chain. And so um, we do it with our system. It corrects also this uh, um, efficiency. So we have the right power values. Okay, very good. And what's my CDA now? Your CDA is for the baseline run. We have 
have actually 0 0.2502 Mm -hmm. okay. Square meters for a, for a guy with 80 kilos, 186 is okay. It's okay. Okay. We it's can okay. you can <laughs> we can do something for you, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm too old for for improvements, but 0 0.25 is fine. You mentioned something before, very interesting, because I said I don't like this helmet because when I'm riding like this, I don't see nothing here. And then I said, okay, I will correct it for the next run. You said, no, 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 no correction. So. If you have the baseline, you stick to all the rules, no changing nothing. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. It just came to my mind. This is how I started my career in the 80s, 90s. Those were the pads, very flat. So there's no real guidance if I'm riding. And if you look here, how nicely you can put your underarm inside that pad that really guides you while you drive. So you don't really have to struggle with your shoulders. Your shoulders are guided. So if you can organize, and um, readjust better pads for your bicycle, do it. This is much more guidance and it will also help you to relax the shoulder. Okay? Old version, new version. Why I'm driving with the old version? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> because I'm older. <laughs> okay. Triathletes have a look just by chance today. Lisa Fischer. She is a track German champion, he's also here. How we can learn as triathlete, how smooth she is in upper body. It's no movement, it's no back and forth. Look at this, look at this, look at this. She rides her bicycle all her life and you can really see how relaxed she's riding. So it's not only important that your CDA is low, it's also important that you can ride this position over 180k or over 90k. It's very important, you know, otherwise you will be so stiff. And if you look at her, how relaxed she can drive and the force comes from the legs and here she's just stabilizing. Look at this. We did six runs already now. I'm a little bit sweaty. And the results, we'll publish them um, later on a PDF that you can download. It's absolutely amazing. So we have, if I'm following a guy in a 12 meter distance at 45K, I'm saving 120 watts, more or less. So this is another world. So we're gonna do one more run at 20 meters at 50K, just to see if <laughs> 20 meters is like, it's over there, it's so far away. At 50k, can we still see an advantage of the guy drafting another athlete 20 meters ahead of him? Okay, triathlete, this is the last take we are doing. We're trying something new. We're trying at 50k, 20 meters distance. He will be riding 20 meters. This is like, where is he? And we are trying to find out, can I profit at 50k, 20 meters behind him? So this is our last take we're doing. I hope I can reach 50k. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, he's been doing a great job today. Thank you. 50k. Start. Francesco Moser, we're coming. <laughs>
triplex, this is the distance, 20 meters that we just tested, look at me, 20 meters distance. Do you think that there will be an aerodynamic gain that I can actually profit from riding behind another athlete 20 meters behind? At 50k, we just we just did it, and just look at the distance. I mean, this is a long way, 20 meters. So we will post the results at the end of the video. Stay with us. So, Roy, how was it to ride uh, 45k per hour uh, for two k's? It's uh, I wasn't ready for it because before we did 50k, yeah. and I thought that's it for today. Okay. But then you came. I need another baseline at 45k. So it was tough. Yeah, it's really tough. We, we needed to, to figure it out yes. yeah, for, uh, for the other tests. Yeah, and, um, it's my first uh, error test that we do two baseline, one at the beginning and one at the end, and then you kind of probably search for yeah, the... Yeah, we, are, we the want tool. to have uh, clear uh, figures. Yeah, and uh, and yeah, now you can imagine um, the best uh, um, TT riders of the world, they do 50 Ks per hour yeah. on one hour... Um, yeah, uh, time to ride championships and, and races. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's amazing. exhausting. Uh, Big respect to Francesco oh, yeah. Moser in 19, <laughs> how much was it? 74? <laughs> huh? yeah, yeah, around, around, uh, was it? Uh, 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 the first guy I, over I 50. guess in the, in the 80s. Huh? Yeah, first guy over 50k for one hour. For one hour, yeah. So. Jeez. Okay, so the drafting cuts we did now, so the last uh, take I will do is now to find out the difference between aerodynamics, really nicely driving, and baseline. So this, you can see when you watch, let's say, road Ironman or long distance races, how many athletes are holding on the baseline because they are tired. They cannot hold this position anymore. So, we will find out how much you're losing because you're not stable enough on the back or not stable enough on the core. So. I will do a, a test ride and uh, we'll find this out. Okay, triathletes, the next take you're doing with Tom is he's riding aerodynamic and he's drinking. How much are you losing when you drink? Watch him. So, he's drinking 10 times for a distance of 2K and we want to find out how much wattage he's losing when he's like, even if he's on this aero position, drinking water. Okay, I'm not talking about going to base bar, I'm talking he stays aerodynamic and drinks. Watch it. Let's find it out. Have a look. He's coming nicely down the triangle and he's going for drinking and he's still stabilizing this one hand. He's not going base bar. Okay, have a look. So he will be drinking 10 times for two kilometers for about five seconds and you want to find out how much wattage are you losing. This is the next take we are doing. Have a look how he's drinking. And he's doing a real good job. So triathletes, thank you Fritz. Thank you Grisha, I'm, I'm done. I'm, <laughs> I'm done for today. This was a very, very interesting day to work with you and and find out all the results and uh, let's share some some insights that we have done of course we will promote this on a PDF you can download it in the video but did you have any ahas today yes of course um, it's the, the drag testing it's uh, the, the most important thing is that you have someone in front of you hmm. um, if it's 12 meters or 8 meters that's only a few watt mm -hmm. difference, mm -hmm. but uh, the, the if is important. Okay, if you have someone in front of you, kind You're of faster. kind of um, gets the, the standing air a, a direction, so that like the dirty air in Formula One. Yes, you know it's the same. That, like because that is uh, the reason why the pro rider leads uh, talk about uh, <laughs> the, the important uh, thing that there is a group after the swimming. Yes. You have a fast swim yes. that you can go uh, on the on the bike split in a group. Yeah? Yes, depends on the on the rules. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, as we already said uh, at the beginning, there are different rules, and that is uh, also a, uh, a fact to um, to understand um, the challenge uh, triathlons. They are 20 meters. And in the uh, World Championship Hawaii, there are 12 meters. 12 yeah? meters. And even but on 20, we found some difference. Yeah. How mm -hmm. much did we find on 20? Mm. 20 meters difference. 
How much should we find? I have to look. <laughs> I, I, it's Look not at the, on the paper. PDF yeah. later. Okay, we'll it's in the PDF. <laughs> but there is a difference. I mean, 20 meters is so long. You see it in the, in the video, yeah? Okay, I have to also be fair to mention that this is done very flat. Okay, we are not doing any testing on uphill and downhill. So this is done flat, indoor, on the track. Also, we have no air that this that uh, may cause some, some problems. So we have to mention this. So it's on ideal conditions. We will promote those numbers. We've divided this in three parts. It's at first the drag um, with about 64 watt, the rolling resistance with around about 38 watt and um, you need 137 watt for the slope and um, yeah, at the speed of 26 kilometers an hour. Yes. So what we can say is if you have a climb of 3%, you basically destroy the whole aerodynamic advantage that you worked out because the speed will be, will be so slow. You slow down so much. But we have to say if it goes downhill and you're going 45, 50, 55K, the work you guys are doing is... Or oh, you have it, wind from the back. Yes, yeah? yes exactly. Like that, yeah? exactly. So just to know that it's also a difference up and down. And also to mention is the side wind, of course, if you're driving up to Harvey and there is a strong side wind from the side blowing like really hard, you will not gain anything if you stay 12 meters behind this guy. It yes. will not work. So you will not gain nothing. So this is no wind. Okay, just a minute. Yeah, and then yeah, we, we measured some, uh, yeah, it's, it's a quite crazy uh, figure. Um, it's the difference between riding um, in the aero position on the aero bike yeah? um, and uh, Roy managed uh, yeah, around 38 uh, k's per hour with, uh, I had to write it down, uh, 227 watts. Yeah? In aero position? In aero position, yes. like, like this. Yeah? Yes. And then he do a test on the same speed um, on, the, on the base bar. Yeah? And he had to uh, push out uh, 53 watts more, more. only more, <laughs> only because he's not in aero position. He goes on the on the base bar, yeah? And when you think about um, your own um, last triathlon, yeah, in the in the last case or after the middle of the of the distance, yeah, many 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 athletes they they hold the handlebar on the on the base bar, yeah, and then. This destroy every everything. advantage and everything you you work before on your aero position. Yeah? Yes, you really so. must be sure when you are working. If you if you have no idea about your aero position and you think you're very sexy and slim and everything is fine, but you cannot hold it to the very end, you're fooling yourself. Yeah. You are fooling yourself. It's better to have a come an easy aero position, but you can ride it all the time. Yeah. Okay. Ride so, it for 90 or 100 yes. AKs, yeah? yes. then, then you are better than yeah, only riding the half. Yes. <laughs> Saving energy for the running. Yes, yes, yes. 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 That's for sure. Yeah. That's a, that are big numbers, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so I think we are done. We are done. I'm happy to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Eat something. Yeah. Eat something, some pasta, something, get the carbs yeah. in again. And we'll promote this uh, PDF. You can download it on uh, my YouTube channel. And thanks for joining. I hope you learned something. I hope we can do something for you that you can get become faster. If you have questions, uh, post it yes. in, the, in the comments. Yes. Yeah. yes. Maybe it's the, the, f the first time and the next time we... We can try something other out. I have some other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Thanks, guys, for bye watching. Bye. 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 Hey, guys, thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel. This is my book, Triathlon Total, in the fourth edition. 470 pages for $28.95. Check it out.